Good morning, brothers and sisters from another mother. It's me, the dude, bro. Uh, brothers, sisters, whatever you identify as, if you identify as my air purifier over there, hey, you got purpose and meaning in my life. Keeping my air clean. I still love you, man. If you identify as, I don't know, a brick and a wall, man, you're holding that wall together. You're building that solid, that solid foundation. And I love you for that, man. I want to welcome an, an old friend back to the chat. The old waking and bacon. Good morning. Got a little. Mmm, better. Hey, dude. What's even better than the smell of napalm in the morning? If you know, you know. One second and we'll get into today's message. Be kind to everyone. One small gesture can make someone's day or even save their lives or yours. Yes, I did say that, or yours. And we'll get into the whole thing here and, um, and I'll explain what I'm talking about. All right, so I think it was Sunday. Um, Sunday, whatever, man, I woke up. I was, uh, would, I was out of coffee and uh, I only had a few dollars in the bank. I was like, ah, man, I can make it to Monday, whatever, which I did. But that's not what my fucking story is about, right? <laughs> you heard me? <laughs> Fuck. Um, so Sunday, I went out for my usual walk. I had, I had a few dollars in the bank, so I grabbed my, my debit card, my ID, because you never know, man. And um, did my little walk and then there's like a, there's a, there's a gas station here in, in, in downtown that it's not very far from here. I mean, from where I live. So it's like, you know, walking distance. I walk by there anyway when I take walks. So I, I roll in there, right? And um, I just usually drink black coffee with ste stevia or some kind of non-sugar type sweetener. Stevia is my go-to. Um, but uh, so I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking in my mind, I'm going to get me some coffee today. If it's one cup, if it's a bag of coffee, if it's whatever, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get me some coffee. That was my mission. That was my goal for the day. My goal was to acquire a commodity. And and you know as honestly as possible, <laughs> right? So I'm thinking, man, maybe this gas station sells coffee. Now it's gonna be a little bit of a markup, but. I have noticed one thing about coffee, man. Just basic, like, coffee. Not like that fancy shit that, like, monkeys shit out and you fucking make coffee. Whatever the fuck. Or birds or whatever the fuck that is. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just basic coffee, man. That black gold, son. Whatever they call it. So, you know, it's a cheap commodity. So I'm like, all right. It's going to be marked up, but we'll find out. Let's fuck around and find out, dude. Right, so I stroll in there, and uh, and much to my chagrin, lo and behold, boom, they got the brick of Maxwell House. Well, we have a Maxwell House uh, fucking coffee baby making factory in Jacksonville, Florida, which is not far from here. So, and if you've ever been there, you know you could smell you could smell the coffee in the air, man. It's like better than marijuana sometimes when you're there, anyway. Not here, um, so. So it was Mac Maxwell House brick, you know, the the good size, you know, and uh, vacuum seal, whatnot. And they had sweetener, and they, and they even had creamer, but I was like, man, I'm just, I'm going to get me some of this coffee and this sweetener. The sweet and low is what it was, not what I usually use, but it'll do in a clutch. And I grab it, and, I, and I, I do the quick math in my head, I'm like, yeah, I got enough of my account. I'm good. One second. Hey, man, hey. By the way, I'm sorry, man. It's me, James. If you like what you see, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe. Tap that notification bell. And that way you will always know what, what the dude is up to. Um, and if you're new here, man, welcome. All you return homesies, you know what's up, man. You know the drill. You're welcome here anytime, man. 
hey man, grab you some coffee, grab you some water, uh, a fucking jug of moonshine, <laughs> fucking whatever, bro. Uh, your method of choice, if you have one, if you don't, man, just hey man, grab a fucking cliff bar and let's hang out for a few minutes. You know what I'm saying? Aight. Right. So, one second. This is my method of choice. Good old sativa, baby. So, um, so I'm like, all right, I do the math. I'm like, all right, man. I'm like, shit, bro. I just like figured some shit out. So I roll up to the counter, put the coffee down, put the sweetener down. I'm like, hey, man, how you doing, man? Good morning, Holmes. You know, all that. And uh, the guy rings it up and I'm like, I'm like less than a dollar short. <laughs> you know, I'm just laughing on the inside at this point. I'm like, well, all right. It is what it is black coffee it is no sweetener so i'm like man i'm sorry man i'm like i wasn't trying to hassle you bro i thought i had enough in my account but i'm gonna tell you right now i don't so if you could just take this off i'll go ahead and put it back on it i'll restock it and uh man i apologize for any inconvenience because that's the kind of person i am man i can be an asshole but i don't like to be an asshole if somebody's being cool with me man i'm gonna be as cool as i possibly can or cooler and Let's generate some love and kindness out here. Some good vibes and energy. You know what I'm saying? Not all this negative shit, brah. So did I get upset? Was I like, oh, fuck, man. The fucking world hates me. I don't have enough for fucking sweet and low. So it's the end of the fucking world. And uh, blah, blah, blah. And, and fucking I'm broke. And, and it sucks. And I've got fucking issues. And I've got obstacles. And fucking life is hard. No. I was just like, all right, whatever, man black coffee it is and i said bro let me put this back and i get out of your hair man boom so i put it back homie rings me up poop swipe the debit card he's like by the way man get you some fucking sweetener off the fucking uh little coffee station i'm like i'm like I'm like man i appreciate that man i didn't even ask okay i could have asked but in my mind i was like all right i can't afford it i don't need it i'm done Hey, man, it would have made my day a little brighter, but I'll live without it, right? But my man was like, and this is what the point of what I'm trying to say today is, I think. My man was like, I mean, he kind of, he saw that I was just like an honest, just making an honest effort. It was like early Sunday morning. It was like before 8 o'clock, I think, because I go out early. And, um, man, he saw, man, you know, he's just like, this dude is just trying to have him some coffee, man. He's chilling. And, and he could have he could have just been like fuck this guy man you know and and hey man I would have been fine with that it won't no skin off my fucking back right um, he's like man get you some of that sweetener off the coffee station I'm like are you sure he's like yeah man get as much as you need I'm like man seriously man I'm like man I appreciate that thank you man seriously man that means a lot to me I'm like where's the extra stuff at and i'll restock it right when i after i get a few and he's like no no he's like don't worry about it get what you need man have a good day i'm like all right man thank you man so i went grabbed a grabbed a good handful tossed it in my bag and then i was leaving it and i again i thanked him i said man thank you he's like okay did you get enough i was like yeah man damn thank you man just seriously my point being is that it doesn't take much to make somebody, and that made my day, man. Just somebody being nice to me. Just somebody acknowledging me, and they didn't have to go out of their way. They didn't have to, to buy anything. They didn't have to spend money. They didn't, have, well, they gift, They gave me a gift, of course, you know, some sweet and low, but my point is, man, it's just somebody just being a cool dude, man, just being nice, because I was being a cool dude. He was being a cool dude. We were chilling, man, doing our thing, and it's like, he's like, man, get you some of sweetener, man, for your coffee, bro. I'm like, thank you, man. It's that easy. And, you know, and, and here's the part when I say it could save somebody's life, man. You don't know what somebody's going through. Somebody could be having a bad day, bummed out, depressed, sad, whatever. One second, I forgot where I was at. You don't know what somebody's going through, man. And just one nice gesture could, could just, like, save somebody's life, man. Think about it, man. And I sincerely mean that. It does, You don't have to fucking go out and, and, and be that dude on YouTube giving out fucking bands of, of money to people. And, hey, yo, it's greatness, yo. Buy some fucking 
philosophy and shit. No, man, you just go out and do things, man. You just, you don't have to do something all the time. Just when it hits you to do it, do something nice, say something nice, compliment someone. Yeah, some people are like, oh, are you hitting on me? No, I'm being nice. I'm giving you a fucking compliment, uh, Broomhilda. Goddamn. You know, just chill, bro, you know? It doesn't take much, but it could save somebody's life. Now, it could also save yours. Now, here's what I'm talking about. I think the movie, Adam Sandler, I think the movie was maybe Billy Madison, I'm not sure, but you know that, that movie where, or the scene where he's like, God, what's the fucking, whatever the dude was he picked on in school, he's like, yo, homie, man. Man, I just want to apologize. I want to tell you I'm sorry for for all the times I picked on you, man. And keep it real, bro. Let's kick it, bro. Let's sesh. Let's fucking hit the bong. You know what I'm saying, man? Let's let's, let's smoke the peace pipe, bro. Olive branch extended, man. And I'm sorry, man. And goddamn, man, I love you, man. Click. And the guy on the other end of the phone, I believe it was Steve Buscemi. He's like. Hmm. People I'm not gonna kill today. Cross the dude off the list, and he was at the top of the fucking list or somewhere on that list. My point being, shit catches up with you, man. So does karma. Be nice to people, man. Now you're gonna have bad days. You're gonna make mistakes. I have bad days all the time, man. Where I'll snap at somebody, man. I'll say something like it, not think about it. I kind of, I, I forget how my, I'm really good at carrying my voice. Like, I can whisper and fucking talk to somebody across Walmart and call them a motherfucking asshole and they hear me. And I mean for it to happen. Like, I can project. Project. But. Don't be a dick, man, on purpose, man. You can't, if sometimes you're having a bad day, man, and you realize it, you go back and say, look, man, I'm sorry, man, I was having a bad day. Can you find it in your heart to forgive me? Look at these blue eyes, man. They're not going to lie to you. So, but purposely going out there and just like being a fucking asshole to everybody, man. That's toxic, man. And it's going to come back and bite you. And like I said, man, learn from Billy Madison and himself, bro. The GOAT. Um, and man, oh yeah, yo. Stay funky, man. Or, yeah. Thank you for leaving me a message about this. Um, so, so here's what up. What we're going to do is, uh, at 100 subscribers, I'm going to pick somebody. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put it out there. And the first person to respond that's interested in this, I'm going to mail this to you. And that's going to be the Stay Funky Revolution. We're going to get this on the street. Um, and the big, the main thing is where, wherever it, it ends up, I'm going to send it to you and you just post with the hashtag stay funky, uh, a picture, whatever you're doing, take the stay funky shell out to eat with you, take it to the fucking sesh, the dispo, whatever you're doing that day, man, the beach, take a picture and then you can either send it back to me or send him on his way elsewhere in the world to, uh, anywhere in the world, any person, anywhere. And then let's let's see if we can just get get some momentum going. Maybe tag this and tag me, the dude. All right, the dude on YouTube, uh, or on you know TikTok, Facebook, James Fields, whatever, man. Let's get it rolling, bro. And um, at a hundred subscribers, we're gonna do that. And I want to say, man, thank you so much. I think right now, uh, when I woke up, it was like at 82, which uh, starting off. It's not bad. I'm not, hey, 82 people is a lot of people to me. And I want to thank each and every one of you, man, for tuning in whenever you can and whenever you do. Um, if it's for a short, if it's for this, if it's for a, a sesh, I think I'm, I'm kind of, I think I'm, I'm going to maybe like, you know, do the words of encouragement, maybe some seshes occasionally, not every night, but occasionally like the, the, the nighttime sesh and then also the reviews and whatnot. Um, got some products on the way. Like I said, I think I fucking remember what they were. It's a... Uh, I wrote it down, actually. It's a Mango Kush THCO Delta 9 Herb 2.2 gram cart is on the way in the mail. The uh, Cotton Candy Live Batter 2.2 gram herb cart and the fucking didn't write the motherfucker down. 
but I remember it. Lime, sherbet, something, fucking, saucy, THC, diamonds. It's the lime, sherbet, something, fucking, whatever. Those three. Um, I know one is a sativa, one's an indica, one's a hybrid. I also ordered seven grams of your boy's finest purple Urkel caviar saucy THC diamonds flower. We're going to review that. Um, and man, thanks for tuning in. Um, let's, uh, let's finish off our day here with a nice little, and then, uh, man, I hope you have a good day, whatever you're doing. If you're not quite up yet, if you're laying in bed, just chilling, about to get up, man, start it off right. Just start it off with a positive mindset. That's the first step. Just have a positive attitude, man. It could change your life. I promise you. You heard me? Let's do this. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm coming off that tolerance break. Hmm. Always nice to do a wake and bake, but keep in mind, I don't need this to do what I do, <clears throat> as I have proven. <coughs> it's just something I do to chill, to relate. I hope the message got out to somebody today, and I hope you're safe, and I'm proud of you, man, and I love you, and you're looking good today, you're looking sharp, you're looking handsome, you're looking pretty, <clears throat> all of the above. Say a prayer for people you care about, tell them you love them. <clears throat> Hugs are free, man. Be a hug dealer, man. Don't be a dick, and I love you, man. And guess what? I'll catch you next time. Deuces. <laughs>